Tips and tricks for butterfly swimming. Greetings athletes, today we're gonna to talk about some tips and tricks that you can improve your butterfly swimming with. We're gonna focus on five basic elements in the water, arm action, kicking, breathing, and turning. So let's start. In the water. First, make sure that your body is led by the crown of your head while keeping your shoulders and hips horizontal. Second, maintain your body as close as possible to the surface of the water. Arm action. One, make sure your arms stretched out in front of your body above the water surface and be led into the water by the thumb. Two, your hands should always enter about shoulder width apart with elbows bent and slightly higher than the hands. Three, when you sweep down your hands, they should form a Y shape in the water in the front of the body while keeping your elbows high. Four, when you turn your hands up and back, always sweep them parallel to the side of your body. Five, in the recovery phase, keep your arms out of the water, making sure that you're not lowering your hips. Kicking. Always make sure that your leg action comes from the hips. Always have your heels and soles of your feet break the surface from underneath with your knees slightly bent on the upbeat. Two, try to keep your legs close together with your ankles relaxed as you propel your body forwards. Three, your downbeat kick should occur as the arm enters and sweeps out. Four, make sure that you kick twice per arm cycle. The first one should be to propel your arms out of the water for recovery and the other for your arms to enter again. Butterfly breathing. One, you should always do front breathing. Two, make sure that your shoulders lead your head out of the water, raising your front naturally. Three, always inhale quickly through your mouth as you keep your chin in front of your forehead. Four, after inhalation, quickly lower your head before exhaling quickly under the water through your mouth and nose, making sure that your head re-enters the water before your arms. Five, one other technique is side-to-side -side breathing, which involves the same thing as breathing ahead, but the swimmer turns their head to one side for inhalation rather than lifting their head. Six, although breathing to the side can help keep the body closer to the water, but the neck twists might be uncomfortable. 7. Your breathing cycle should be once every two arm cycles. You can adjust it according to your comfort. Butterfly turning. 1. As you approach the wall for your turn, make sure that your hands should touch simultaneously below, at, or above the surface, like in a breaststroke. 2. Once you touch, immediately thrust one hand backward away from the wall. 3. Make sure that you rotate your body onto its side by poking your hips and tucking your knees before planting your feet on the wall. Four, while you're pushing off, make sure that you powerfully straighten your legs to transfer the momentum away from the side of the pool. Five, as your momentum slows down, start a dolphin leg kick underwater, keeping your arms in front of you. It's ready, ready to start the propulsive phase under the water. This is it, folks. Make sure you go through each of these before taking a swim. Share with us your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.